together with Word and PowerPoint, Excel make up the Microsoft Office productivity suite. Now, Excel is especially popular in the business world when there's a lot of need for budgeting and financial calculations. In this tutorial, we're going to look at three things. First, we're going to look at what Excel is and what it can do. Secondly, we're going to look at how we input and format data in Excel. And thirdly, we're going to look at how we play with formulas in Excel. Let's look at Excel in a nutshell. Now, Excel has been around for a while, and uh, the newest version of it is 2007. Um, this tutorial, I use Excel 2003, which is not that much different from 2007. It is a spreadsheet program. Um, we generally use it to make budgets and graphs, and most of us usually stop there in terms of the functionality of Excel. But it can do a lot more than just budgets and graphs. For example, if you have a huge set of data, you can write virtual basic script to automate calculations um, that would instead take forever if you do them by hand. Now, Microsoft Office can cost up to $500 retail, so you might want to check out OpenOffice, which is a free competitor to uh, Microsoft Office. So let's quickly go through some examples of what Excel can do. This is a simple budget that I made. On top there, what you have is you have the monthly income. On the bottom, you have the monthly expenses. From those, you figure out the total income and total expenses. And from the two totals, you figure out what the take home is for the month. Charting feature. OK, you have a set of data called the beverage sales for John's Restaurant from 03 to 08. Over here, on the red column, is the average sales per year. And using the average sales, what I did was I graphed them uh, on this column graph. Uh, and I call it the beverage sales average chart. So the two examples we've just gone through show you a general idea what Excel can do. At this point, we're going to look at some hand-on stuff, how we actually work with Excel. Okay, let's look at some example how we input and format data in Excel. We have this uh, example right here in which you have the soft drink sales for the year of 2003. And I'm going to show you step by step how you can reconstruct and format to make the data table looks pretty. Let's start out by typing in uh, Coke, C-O-K-E. Um, okay, when you're done, just hit enter. All right, now click on the next box and type in Sprite. Now by hitting in tab, T-A-B, uh, it moved the cursor to the next column for you to type. Now you type in Pepsi, hit tab again, then you type in Fanta, okay. Now obviously I made a mistake here. Instead of Fanta, I put in Fanta, so we're going to have to change that. You can use F2 to change and edit things. Click on the box you want to change, hit F2. You see the blinking cursors? Simply move it to the M and change it to the N. Okay. When you're done, just hit Enter. Another way to edit uh, data is uh, uh, click on the box you want to change, and instead of hitting F2, just go up here to the formula bar and click on it. And again, you see the blinking cursors, uh, allowing you to change whatever uh, text you want to uh, the correct one. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. It's always good to save your progress along the way. Okay, uh, we can go ahead and put in the rest of the data. Twenty-five, or seventy-nine, twenty-three, or fifty-five, twenty-two, ninety-two, twenty-four, or fifty-five. Okay. All right, let's put in some formatting in this table right here. Uh, let's click and drag and select the data table. And go up here to borders, drop it down, and select all borders. Click on it. There you go. All the borders are showing up nicely. Okay. Let's select uh, the names up here by click and hit shift and then click again to select the range. Click on bold. Alright, again, instead of clicking bold, you can just hit Control B, which will do the same thing for you. Okay, now uh, let's put in the dollar signs for the number. So you select the box you want, you go up here to Format, you click on Cells. Uh, now another method is you can also hit Control 1, which also brings up the same uh, dialog box. You want to select uh, Currency, is the carrier you want. We don't need no decimal places, so let's put it to zero. And the dollar symbol is good, so click OK. All right, there you have it, $25,000 for Coke sales. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other three things. So again, you select the, the range that you want to format, click 
click control one oops not control f1 but control one there we go click on uh, currency again uh, decimal places to be zero and then symbol dollars okay so there you have it uh, step by step you have uh, reconstructed the, the data table and formatted to uh, to be a nice little table all right in the next example we're going to look at how we input calculations and equations. In the previous one, I show you how to input data. And now I'm going to show you how to input equation and calculations to, uh, to work with your data you put in. So let's say you have this expense table right here. And uh, you want to figure out uh, what is the total expenses. So one way you can do it is you can use your calculator and add all these numbers up. Um, but Excel can actually do the same thing. The way you do that is you start out by typing the equal sign. Okay, by typing an equal sign, you telling Excel that you want to do a calculation. So let's go ahead and put in all the numbers: five hundred plus one twenty-five plus thirty plus ninety, and hit enter when you're done. There you have it. The total is seven forty-five. Now putting in the numbers one by one is too tedious for my taste. So what you can do is you can use the, the formula SUM, S-U-M, to figure out the total. You initiate the formula by typing the equal sign, then you type in S-U-M, then you open the parentheses. Now the formula tells you to uh, type in the first number, comma, second number, comma, and so on. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the first number, then you type comma, then click on the second number, comma, third number, comma, fourth number, and this point we're going to close parentheses because uh, there's no more number to calculate. Okay, then hit enter. Okay, 745, same result. Now at this point I'm going to show you yet an even quicker way to do this. Okay, you, again you're going to use the sum formula, but instead of uh, clicking the number one by one, you're going to uh, select a range uh, of the numbers. The way you select a range of the numbers, you select the first number in the range, then you hold on the shift key, then you click on the last number in the range, okay? By holding on the shift key, you tell Excel you want to play with the range. You see the colon signs? That tells Excel it's a range, in this case, C20 to C23. Okay, let's go ahead and close parentheses. Okay, close it up, and hit enter. Again, 745. So I've shown you three different methods to calculate the total expenses, and all of them show the same number. And of course, the last uh, method is the one uh, that proves to be the quickest one. Okay, now let's look at the example down here. We want to figure out what is the average sale for the year of 2003 among the different kind of beverages. Okay, now we're going to use a formula, of course, um, to f to do this. Um, and the formula for average is is the average. Okay, so type in average, open parentheses. Uh, you can also do click first number, comma, second number, third number, comma, and so on. But I'm going to use the range method like I showed you before. So click on the first number, hold on shift, click on the last number. Okay, the range is C30 to F30. Okay, let's close the parentheses and hit click enter. So there you have it. Your average is $23,120. This concludes our video tutorial. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy it. Please help us spread the word about computertutorials.org and please visit our website for more video tutorials.